Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwarven.com and in this video, we'll show you how to flash the latest Pixel OS ROM based on Android 14 onto your OnePlus 9 Pro. So please take a backup of all the data on your phone and then let's get started. First of all, you will have to get hold of Android SDK platform tools. So get it from my guide and extract them onto your PC. You could extract them anywhere you want. In my case, I've done the extraction in C drive and these are the files of platform tools. Once that is done, your next course of action is to enable USB debugging and OEM unlocking. USB debugging is required to execute ADB command, whereas OEM unlocking is required to unlock the bootloader on your phone. So let us now carry out both this task. For that, go to the settings menu. Then you have to go to about device. Then go to version and tap on build number seven times. You will get a prompt that you are now in developer mode. So go back, again go back, go to additional settings, then go to developer option and now enable the toggle next to OEM unlocking as well as USB debugging. You will get a prompt on your phone, tap on OK. You might get an RC key prompt as well. In that case, tap on allow and with this debugging is enabled. So let's now verify the debugging connection. For that, go to platform to folder address bar, type in CMD and hit enter. This will launch command prompt inside platform tools. Now type in ADB devices and make sure that you are getting a serial ID. If you are not getting any ID, then unplug and replug your phone from the PC. Disable and re-enable USB debugging. Tap on revoke USB debugging. Use the official cable that came with your phone and use the USB 2.0 port on your PC. So carry out these USB tweaks and make sure that you are getting an ID. Once you are getting this ID, you are now good to go ahead. So next up, you will now have to unlock the bootloader on your phone. For that, you will have to boot your phone to fastboot mode and then use the fastboot flashing unlock command. However, do, do note that doing so will wipe off all the data and it might make the warranty null and void as well. So if that's well and good, then you could refer to my guide and the video and get this job done. Next up, you will now have to down download the Pixel OS ROM file from here, the firmware flasher from here and apart from that, the super empty IMG file as well as the kernel issue for root. For root, rooting is optional. If you want, you may download it or skip it. Likewise, super empty, although it's optional, but I'll all recommend you to still get hold of this file as well because if you don't flash the super empty, then you might get the update 7 status 1 error code. I made a separate guide on the same. You could refer to my guide if you want to know more about this error. This usually happens when we do a side load of a custom ROM. So to avoid that error from happening, it's recommended to flash the super empty IMG file. So I have linked this file. As of now, the lineage OS is one such ROM which gives the super empty IMG file. So you may simply download the file from here. Do know that this file will only be applicable on the OnePlus 9 Pro and it's not should not be used across any other phone, although it's for Lineage OS, but it will work across all the AOSP ROMs without any issues. So with this, we have got the super empty IMG file as well. And if you want, you may get hold of the kernel issue for rooting as well. I'll show you that too. But do keep in mind that if you use the kernel issue, then the plain integrity test will fail and then you will have to pass it. I have a separate guide and a video on the same. If you want, you may refer to my guide and get this job done, but routing is completely optional. So if you want, you may get hold of it from here. And once you have got the kernel SU as well as the super empty IMG file apart from the root. So let's now move ahead to the next step. So next up, you will now have to boot your phone to fast boot mode. So for that, you just have to type in ADB reboot bootloader and hit enter and your phone will now reboot into fastboot mode in a matter of few seconds. So let's just wait for the time frame and then we'll move ahead with the next step. So let's wait for a few more seconds. And our phone is now in the fastboot mode. So first off, type in fastboot devices. Just a minute. First off, type in fastboot devices and hit enter and make sure that you are getting a serial ID. If you are not getting any ID, then you will have to install fastboot drivers on your PC. For that, you could refer to my guide or the video and get this job done once you have installed the drivers. Right click on the windows icon, select device manager and then expand the Android phone section. Make sure that your phone is being shown as Android bootloader interface. So this as well as the serial ID next to fastboot signify that the PC is able to read the phone in fastboot mode and we are now good to go ahead. So next up, your first course of action is to flash the super empty IMG file. Again, I am repeating, it's not compulsory, but it's optional and it's done just to avoid the 
error 7 which might happen while doing a sideload of the ADB ROM. So let's now flash the super empty IMG file and, and wipe the super partition. For that, once you have got hold of the super empty file from here, simply transfer the file to the platform to photo on your PC. So let me get that job done as well. So this is the super empty IMG file. For the sake of convenience, let me rename it to super empty and remove the numerical from the end. So now you will have to simply copy paste this command and it will wipe the super partition using the super empty IMG file. So simply copy the command and paste it in the CMD window and hit enter. And the wiping is now done. Once that is done, you will now have to flash the pixel OS firmware. So for that, download the firmware file from here, the pixel OS firmware and it will be in a zip format. So simply extract it. So upon extraction, you will get all these files. Let me show you. All you have to do is simply launch the pixelflashes.bash file and it will now start flashing all the files to their respective partition. In fact, it will flash the vendor boot, vbmeta, boot img and dtbo. These are the four, four files which it will flash and, and the rest are the files of the platform tools as you could see from here. These are the same files from the platform tools. So the bash file is simply flashing all these four files and let me show you the flashing is currently going on and it's flashing the files. You could also verify the content of the batch file upon opening it as you could see. What it does is simply flash all these files to both the partitions and then it will automatically reboot your phone to the recovery mode. That's just about it. So let's just wait for the flashing to complete and it is now flashing the files to both the partition and now your phone will automatically reboot to the recovery mode. So let's just wait. If that does not happen, then you may also use the fast boot reboot recovery to manually boot your phone to the recovery mode. But as you could see in our case, we are now inside the Pixel OS recovery. So from there, your first course of action is to sideload the ROM file. So select apply update, then choose apply from ADB. And with this, your phone is now in the ADB sideload mode. Let's verify the same. So open CMD window and type in ADB devices and make sure that you are getting the sideload keyword. Once you are getting this keyword, your next course of action is to transfer the ROM file to the platform tools folder on your PC. So let me do that as well. As you could see, this is the ROM zip file. So copy the file from here and transfer it to the platform tools folder. It will take only a few seconds. Once that is done, let's just rename the file to something shorter. So let's rename it to ROM and the complete name becomes ROM.zip. So let's now do a sideload of the ROM file. For that, type in adb sideload and the name of the file which is rom.zip and hit enter and the sideloading will now start. It could take up to 8 to 10 minutes. So let's just wait for the flashing to complete. So guys, as soon as the flashing reaches the 47% mark, you will get a prompt if you want to flash any other additional zip packages or not. So if you want to flash any other zip files such as magisk or any other mod zip file, then you will have to reboot your phone to recovery for that. Tap on yes. On the other hand, if you don't want to flash any other zip file and you want to boot to the OS, then select no. So I want to boot to the OS, so I will select no. And now you will have to carry out the next step, which involves doing a factory reset. So even if you want to flash any other zip file, then in that case, you have to select yes, reboot to recovery, flash the zip file via ADB site load. Then again, you will have to do a factory reset. So the factory reset is compulsory in both this case, whether you are rebooting to recovery or not, a reset is a must. So always do a reset. In our case, we, we don't have to flash any other mod. So we choose no and now we are taken to the home screen. So now we have to select factory reset, then select format data factory reset and again select format data. With this, the data wipe is complete and you may now reboot your phone to the OS. So go back and now tap on reboot system now. And your phone should now boot into the OS. Let's verify the same via the boot animation. So instead of booting to the ROM, as you could see, my phone is booting to the fast boot mode. So there seems to be some issue with this, the ROM flashing. Let's try and find out what exactly is the issue. So first off, let's verify the current active slot of my phone. So for that, I'm using fast boot get var all command and it will list out all the information with respect to the slots. So my current active slot is the slot B. So let's try changing the slot to slot A and then see if it works or not. For that, you have to type in fast boot, set 
underscore active and other so type in this and hit enter and our current slot is now slot a so now let's try to reboot our phone to the os and check out the result fast boot reboot and hit enter so let's now see if our phone boots to the os or not if it still does not boot to the os then we'll have to flash the rom to the a slot as well so let me first verify the result and then so still my phone is in the fast boot mode so let me again verify the current partition so as of now we are our slot is slot a so let's now move ahead and flash the rom file to the a partition because earlier when we had flashed the rom via adb side load we had done so in the slot b now we have changed the slot via the fast boot set active other and our current slot is slot a so let's now flash the rom file via the adb side load to slot a you don't have to flash the all the other files because let me show you regarding the rest of the files which we have flashed using the flasher tool in the flasher tool the tool automatically flashes the file to both the partition so we don't have to flash these files let me show you it flashes to both a and b only the rom file has been flashed to the single partition which i suppose was the b partition now that i am in the a partition let me now flash the rom file to the a partition as well so let's now try to re rectify this issue and check out the result for flashing the rom to the a partition first of you will have to make sure that you are in the a partition and then do keep in mind that in my case it was the b partition and now it is the a partition if in your case it was initially the a partition then now you have to use the fast boot set active other and you will not be to the b partition the naming scheme does not matter just make sure that you are on the opposite slot in my case i was on the b now i am on the a partition so now i'll have to once again do an adb side load of the rom file for that use the fast boot reboot recovery command and hit enter and your phone will boot to the pixel os recovery from there we will now do an adb side load and this time around the rom should be flashed to the a partition as well so go to apply update select apply from adb and with this your phone is now in the adb side load mode now type in adb side load name of the file which is rom.zip and hit enter and the side loading will now start and this time around the file will be side loaded to the a partition that is to the opposite partition or the inactive partition and the flashing will once again take up to around 8 to 10 minutes so let's just wait and then we'll verify the result so guys the side loading is now done across both the slots currently as you could see i am in the active slot is shown as a at that point in time it was b so with this we have flashed the rom across both the slots now just tap on no since we don't have to flash any other zip file and then let's do a factory reset once again just to be on the safer side now select format data again format data and with this the data wipe is complete now go back and tap on reboot system now and hopefully this time around our phone should not boot into the newly flashed os once again you will have to give it some time to boot up so let's just wait for around 8 to 10 seconds and then we'll verify if the phone boots up or not the boot animation should, should show up if the rom is built successfully let's check out the same and then we could proceed ahead so as you could see our phone is now booted to the rom file so the only issue with the rom was that you had to flash it across both the slots flashing it in just one single slot will not get the job done so to rectify this issue let me show you in short what we had to do so first of you have to simply flash the firmware so the firmware batch file will automatically flash the file across both the slots as you could see from here it so the all the boot vendor boot vb meta and dtbo files have been flashed across both the slots on its own so you don't have to do anything regarding this but when it comes to flashing the rom file it only gets flashed in one single slot so you will then have to boot your phone to the fast boot mode and from the fast boot mode in most cases your phone will automatically boot into the fast boot mode so from there you will have to then change the slot for changing the slot you have to type in fast boot set underscore active space other and a slot change will take place then type in fast boot reboot recovery and your phone will then once again reboot to the pixel os recovery from there you will again have to do an adb side load of the rom once that is done do a format data 
and then you will be back to the OS. As you could see in our case, we are now booted to the OS. So let's now proceed ahead. So as of now, I'll skip the initial setup process and take you to the OS. If you want, you may do a data restore right now itself from the iPhone or iPad or Android phone. But as of now, I'll skip all the stuffs and take you to the OS. Let me accept the terms and condition as well and let's skip all this. And with this, we are now inside it. So let me skip it. And we are now inside the ROM as you could see over here. And this is the settings menu and from here, you could get hold of the UI and UX of the ROM. It's the exact same what you get on a Pixel phone. So let me show you. These are the various lock screen clock style. So let's select one and let me then show you the result. So as you could see over, if you have a notification, then the lock screen clock will be at the top left. So if you remove the notification, then it will be at the center. Apart from that, you could also change the color, theming color, and it will automatically pick up the color from the wallpaper or you may also choose some of the other colors and you may toggle the dark and light theme from here is itself itself then in the home screen you may enable the theme icon and the changes will be implemented as you could see in the home screen it's only applicable on the home screen and not on the app drawer as you could see from here apart from that you also have the option to change the app grid again it's only for the home screen and the rest of the stuffs are the same that you get on the pixel ui about phone is on the latest OnePlus 9 Pro build on based on Android 14. So guys, on that note, I round off this video. If you want to root your phone as well, then you may use the kernel issue zip file. The steps are same as before. Just boot your phone to the AOSP recovery or rather the Pixel OS recovery via the ADB reboot recovery command. Make sure you enable the USB debugging and the developer option from here. And then use the ADB reboot recovery command to boot your phone to the Pixel OS recovery. And then you may just do an ADB side load of the kernel issue zip file. Just make sure to name the file as kernel issue. Place the file in the platform tools folder as let me show you over here. And then use the ADB side load kernel issue dot zip file. And just to be on a safer side, make sure to side load the file across both the slots, slot A and slot B. So just to repeat in short, you will have to do the side load across both the active and inactive slot using the fast boot and the recovery mode. It's exactly same as the one which we have used to flash the ROM file. In the ROM as well, we did the ADB side load across both the slots using the fast boot mode as well as the AOSP recovery. So it's exactly same. However, if you want, there is a much easier way to get the job done as well. You could simply side load the magic zip file and also carry out that task. The option is yours. But do keep in mind that once you have obtained root, the plain integrity test will fail on your phone. So you, you will then have to pass the test for that. I have made a guide and a video on the same in this video. I've shown four methods. You may refer to any of the four methods to pass the test as well. If you have any queries, do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching.